Symphonia Viva commissioned me to write a piece of music. The Loom spoke to me and said that it wanted a piece of music writing about it. Um, it's easy to write a piece of music about something that is in itself creating something. So I contacted the company who owned this loom when it was operational um, in the 1800s and believe it or not they are still a company operating in Derbyshire. So they're called um, Boma Bond and they make narrow weave fabrics which is what this loom is meaning that it makes um, straps um, the sort of thing you might find on a backpack the sort of things that goes into boats into sailing these sort of uh, you know really really strong narrow tapes and fabrics. I've heard audio files of how the looms today sound. The modern day ones are moving at about 120 beats per minute, uh, whereas this one is more like 60 to 80 beats per minute, so uh, there's quite a difference. A loom in working order has a certain sound and a certain rhythm inherent to what it does. And of course, it's creating something out of different strands. So I took the idea of a piece of woven fabric starting from the, the warp and the weft and thought about how I could construct that piece of fabric out of musical ideas, musical motifs. So what people will hear when they're listening to this piece of music is the individual strands of the warp and the weft combining together to make up that whole picture or that, that whole piece of woven fabric. A wing quintet is made of five instruments, uh, one of which isn't even a woodwind instrument, it's a brass instrument, and they all make really, really different sounds from each other, which means it's interesting to write for. You've got to think about those distinct sounds and how you can make the most of their individual personalities, but also what happens when you blend those sounds together. So what's great for a piece about a woven piece of fabric is that you have got these individual strands or colors of the horizontal part of it. So for example, the flute, um, which actually starts off with a piccolo solo, this is really high up and this is showing that sort of horizontal movement and then back. Added to that is then a bassoon riff that comes in underneath, which again is showing off the specific nature of the sound of the bassoon. And those instruments are quite percussive. And then comes in the clarinet, adding yet another texture to our picture that the looms, the fabric's being created. And then on top of that, we then get the oboe, which in this case is adding a melodic line to the pattern that's been created. And the horn comes in and adds some extra detail and colour to that pattern. This is the first section of the piece. Then in the second section of the piece, we're hearing those vertical strands that in a loom are fixed in place and don't change, but are the underlying structure of the final piece of fabric that you see. And this is represented in the piece by the chords that are made up of those individual motifs put together, sounding in, in, in one block. So that gives a very different idea, but of course, those individual motifs and those vertical strands, unless you have those all together, you're not getting the full picture of the piece of fabric being created. So the last section of the piece gives us that idea. You hear both the individual strands and the chordal structure, and that shows you the piece finally as a whole. And each instrument is bringing its own, its own personality and color into that. The other piece that we're playing is an arrangement of Mussorgsky's pictures from an exhibition, which of course is a fabulously well-loved piece. And this clever arrangement for Wing Quintet um, is also about strolling through a gallery and looking at pictures and describing those pictures in music in just the same way as I'm hoping that my piece will describe the workings of the loom and what it creates. So what people are getting is an afternoon of visual images of sound in a beautiful environment. And they'll also get to hear a piece of music they've never heard before, for sure. And one that's been written especially with this museum, with this loom and with Derby in mind. Mm -hmm.